Okay, uh, this is uh, part 18 of the video series Salvation Through Works is Heresy. And uh, we just want to make some concluding statements here. And what, what I'd like to emphasize is that I, I realize that uh, we've covered, I don't know, 10 or 12 problem verses that, that people commonly send us to try to make the point that, uh, you know, faith is not enough for our salvation or the point that we could lose our salvation. So we, we've taken some of the most common verses and addressed those. I, I realize that there are other problem verses that people can send us. And be, you're, you're welcome to send us those if you want us to address those. But uh, in the playlist here, we, we have uh, included some other videos made by some other YouTube channels that uh, answer many of these other problem verses. So the, uh, look at the complete playlist and you'll see uh, that there are other problem verses that we've attempted to answer uh, for you. What have you got to say? Well, uh, in closing comments, I just want to say that trusting in works um, is insufficient uh, for being made right with God. Um, so turning from your sins won't save you. Um, living a good life won't save you. Going to church won't save you. Obeying the Ten Commandments won't save you. Observing the Sabbath day um, won't save you. Uh, water baptism won't save you. Works of charity won't save you. Um, and the only thing that's going to save you, only those that believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, only those that trust in Him and trust in His death on the cross are going to be saved. Only those that believe uh, that what He did on that cross is the full payment for their sin that it is finished there at the cross 2,000 years ago. Only those that believe and trust that are going to be saved. Only those that believe that He died for their sins and that He rose from the dead and that He is God Almighty. Um, they're the only ones that are going to be saved. The Bible says, you know, uh, Titus chapter 3, verse 5, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to His mercy, He saved us. Just as that story we went over in the last illustra uh, uh, video illustrates, um, just as Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says, For by grace are you saved, through faith, and this not of yourself. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So, um, here on YouTube, uh, um, you see a lot of street preaching. Um, you, there's a lot of ministries uh, out there. Uh, you need to be real careful on who, whose ministry you attach yourself to. Because there's many ministries out there uh, that have put their followers under a work salvation spell. Uh, and and they, they have misled people um, away from the grace of God. So uh, you, you got to look at verses like Galatians chapter 1, uh, verses uh, 6 through 8. Um, these ministry, ministries and these people are out there. Um, as as that, that Scripture says, if we or an angel preach any other gospel, let him be a curse. So Paul's warning us there's going to be these, these people out there that, that, that preach a works salvation. Um, uh, and uh, you've you got to look at the Scriptures and, and, and see just what uh, um, Paul says. You know, Paul says, stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage okay so and as, as Galatians 5 4 says uh, you who are trying to be justified by the law have been alienated from Christ you have fallen away um, from grace so um, are you going to follow a man I don't care who he is I don't care how famous he is uh, I don't care how many followers he has or how big his ministry is. Are you going to follow a man who, who teaches you a work salvation who's going to lead you straight into hell? Or are you going to do what God says? And, and, and I'm going to go into the Old Testament to listen to what God has to say about it. Are you going to do what God says? You know, in, in Psalm uh, 118, verse 8, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. So... You need to test everything and hold on to the good. Um, and, and everything, you need to take it to the, the epistles of Paul and see what Paul says. Uh, because Paul preaches um, the message of grace. He preaches the Gospel message. 
Um, that uh, the, the Gospel is that, that Christ died for our sins. That He was buried. That He rose again. God became a man. And that salvation is by grace through faith. And this not of yourself. It is a gift of God, not of works. So that, that's pretty much what I would like to say about it. Alright, I, I certainly want, wouldn't want to add anything. Uh, you, you stated that perfectly. Uh, you made one thought come to my mind that, that I think is worth mentioning. Uh, the problem we're addressing in this series uh, is that, that uh, there are people who are not trusting Jesus entirely for their salvation. And, and they are saying that Jesus' death on the cross is not sufficient as a full payment for all of our sins. And they are adding other requirements. This is a heresy. But this is not a new heresy. This goes way, way back. The Apostle Paul talked about that's the entire book of Galatians about this. He refers to these people as foolish Galatians. He, they're also known as Judaizers. These are people who are trying to bring religious requirements and add those in for, into our, our faith as a requirement for our salvation. So this problem goes way back to the beginning of the church and it's still prevalent today. And uh, I hope that this series has cleared this up for you all. Exactly. I mean, the, the Scripture says uh, we conclude that a man is justified by faith apart from the deeds of the law. And as Paul says, the just will live by faith. Uh, I, I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live. The life I live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. I do not frustrate the grace of God. I do not set aside the grace of God. For if righteousness comes uh, by the law, then Christ died in vain. The last thing I will say is that uh, the in uh, previous videos I've given you a list of uh, numerous verses. You've been quoting many of these verses throughout the series. Many verses that clearly define our um, our gospel of salvation. That uh, it is by the grace of God through our faith in Jesus' death on the cross. There are no religious works required for our salvation. So we've given them many verses that clearly state that. And uh, I would invite anybody here, as a matter of fact, I challenge you, uh, instead of sending us another problem verse, uh, why don't you take some of the problem verses that I have to give you, all these clear-cut verses by the Apostle Paul, and please study those and try to give me a, an explanation for those, because they clearly, uh, there is no confusion what they're saying. Yeah, folks, uh, don't let no one put you under a work salvation spell. Um, uh, what must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. God made it very simple. Just trust Christ. Trust in His death on the cross alone to save you. And God will save you. It's finished. Amen. Thank you, brother.